Hey, Sunshine! A few weeks ago, a company called Paper House sent me some art supplies to test out. They're supposed to be their best sellers, so I'm super curious to give them a try and see how they do. So let's jump right in. I'll start with the Bold Line Glitter Gel Pens. There's eight colors, including a silver and a black. The packaging is very glittery and cute, and they have a very fine point, so you could use these to write or add glittery details to your art. Things I like about these is the colors are all very bright and pretty, and they write incredibly smoothly, no skipping. And the triangle shape of the barrel makes them really comfortable to hold as well. So we'll also be testing all of these supplies on black paper today as well. So as you can see, they do show up on the black paper, but not super brightly. And since on the black paper, we're really only seeing the glitter and not the ink, some of the colors show up very differently. Like the green looks blue and the blue looks green. Overall, I really like these ones. I think they're really pretty and work exactly as you'd expect them to. Next up is the metallic glitter gel pens. They also come in a set of eight. First impression is that these are gorgeous, but what the heck colors are they going to be? I'm glad that there's at least names on the side because otherwise my main gripe with these would be being completely unable to tell what color you're using until you color with it. Apart from that though, I think they're really fun. The colors are gorgeous and I love that they've named them for constellations. They also show up relatively well on the black paper, and they're very smooth to write with as well. Next I tried the metallic marker pens, which I was most excited about. I'd seen some videos on Instagram of these that looked super cool. These ones have the brush tip, but they have a version with a bullet tip as well. These are so smooth and saturated to write with, it almost feels like brushing on paint. I do wish I was better at using brush tip pens to show them off more nicely, but you'll have to take my word for it. My only real gripe with these is that the packaging isn't very cute, but that really doesn't matter as long as the product works as you'd expect it to. The most fun part about these is using them on the black paper. See, at first, I bet you thought I was nuts to write with that white pen, but watch how it works on the black paper. That is really fluffin' cool. It appears like magic. Okay, the next product are these Double Lines pens. They're pretty cool. It comes with three pens, each of which have two differently colored pen nibs. I think these would be neat for creating automatic drop shadows on anything you write or draw, and they're great for adding instant striped patterns to things. But apart from that, I do find them a little bit niche. Like, it's very fun, but I'm not sure if it's an art supply I'd grab that often. And of course, these ones are regular marker ink, so they don't actually show up on the black paper. Last but not least, I tried the outline markers. These are both chunky silver markers that automatically create their own outline around whatever you draw one blue and one green. Now I did try these ones ahead of time, which is why I grabbed a separate bit of paper to test them on today, because I knew they'd bleed right through the paper. And I don't know if you noticed, they also got all over my fingers. <laughs> so that's my main issue with these. Despite them being really cool, they bleed through even super thick paper. And they do also work on black paper, but only the silver ink shows up, so you won't actually get that cool outline effect. So there's only one thing left to do. Use as many of these supplies as I can to create one bullet journal weekly layout. The only products I won't use is the outline markers because as you just saw, they'll bleed through the paper. What I did use was the silver metallic brush marker for all the letters of the weekdays and the weekend. Then I used the bold line glitter gel pens to create circles around them. And I used the metallic glitter gel pens to make the boxes for each day. I do need to take a second here to recognize my newest patron, Tempest. Welcome to the team. I'm incredibly grateful for your support and I hope you love the bonus content and printables. If you wanna see your name in the credits of every video, come join the team over on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below.
As a finishing touch to this layout, I used the double lines pens to add a little striped pattern to the bottom of the page. And that's it. If you're interested in trying any of these products yourself, I'll link to them below. And if you use the code DARKSUNLIGHT at checkout, you'll get 10% off. I hope you enjoyed testing out some fun new pens with me today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.